it's getting interesting in the hybrid space because there's so many companies releasing hybrid linear monitor you have cca releasing their new raspberry uh earphone that comes with four balance amateur drivers and two dynamic drivers and all for fifty dollars that's the price tag just fifty dollars for this hybrid look i respect cca they're the sister brand of kz they've been doing this for so many years the thing is they're releasing a lot of products at this point i understand they have to make money this is the perfect time to release a product and make money but i don't know about the quality of the product that they've released how good it will be the raspberry the claim is going to offer you a good sound for the money obviously they will tell you this but then again it's more also about how it ends up performing i'm not a big fan of having all these sort of drivers configuration in in a very cheap unit because I, I always don't feel like it, they're, they're ever going to live up to the expectation that one can expect from a, a serious uh hybrid of this nature uh, but then again, it's going to still come with the same typical KZ, KZ style of uh, shell. Uh, you still have that QDC-like connector that I have always not liked. I don't like QDC style uh, two pin. Uh, it, it just doesn't work for my ears because it gives me fatigue and all that. But you still get it here. Um, it looks okay. I would say one thing that it looks good. I think people will will like the look for the for the for the way it is the only thing is i'm not a huge fan of of the the kz design in general I, they, they've not they've not advanced ever since uh they they came into the business they just maintained this look and they just kept it going year after year after year and cca took after the sister brand and they've been doing the same as well uh now this earphone comes with tuning switches um you can set it up in the fashion that you want it to sound i'm not a fan of tuning switches again because i feel a company should be able to tune an earphone to sound the way they want it to sound i'm not all i'm not for one uh, the kind of guy that wants to go and start retuning or setting something to get something out of that earphone i feel if the earphone has bass give me bass if the earphone is not a bass earphone and it's a treble oriented earphone then do the treble let's know that this is what the earphone sounds like do not give me twin switches that will mess up with frequency all that is in the uh, that's already the, the the coming with the earphones design and all that so uh that's just me but then again uh maybe i'm ranting maybe i'm complaining a lot maybe because of the previous products from that KZ brand that is making me talk in this fashion the thing is the brand is a very successful brand no matter how we want to look at it they've been uh, releasing a lot of products over the last few years they've maintained a very solid fan base um yeah true good and bad the only thing i just don't like about the brand to be fair is that they they don't use quality drivers to make their earphones but then again this is still nice uh this is still nice enough for what it is um uh, you, you get the chi fi balance amateur drivers that that is always coming with cc and kz products uh so you're looking at the 31 736 model of balance amateur drivers you get around four in there and then two dynamic driver two uh composite di 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 diaphragm that's what you get in there uh and then that's it with the cable that's it that's the setup that you get so i'm gonna drop details for you guys if you are interested in getting your hands on the new on the new earphone from cca the the raspberry if you want to get your hands on it it's now available and i've said it's 50 dollars as the price tag um so do check it out subscribe to the channel do like our content follow us here on youtube i'll see you guys very much next time